If you just bought a Ledger wallet, here's a guide on how to send all of your funds from your existing Metamask wallet to this one. I previously made this mistake of transferring over the seed phrase from my existing Metamask wallet to this brand new Ledger. By doing so, this actually compromises the security of your funds in your Ledger wallet, as your seed phrase has already been exposed online. I surely recommend you to create a brand new wallet on Ledger, even if you already have all of your funds on Metamask. This makes sure that your seed phrase is generated offline and there's no way that any hackers will be able to gain access to your funds. However, the process of transferring over from Metamask to Ledger can be quite tedious and I'll be showing you exactly what you need to do. If you just created a brand new account on Ledger, your screen may look something like this. Metamask only supports networks that are compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine, so the only account that you actually need to add to Ledger is your Ethereum account. This is because all EVM compatible networks actually have the same wallet address, so you do not need to add any other accounts like the BNB Smart Chain or Polygon. You can select the Ethereum account and the app installation will start. You can now open the Ethereum app on your Ledger and you'll be asked to add a brand new account. Once you have this Ethereum account, you can select Receive. And even though they have this warning here, the address that you have for the Ethereum app will be exactly the same as other apps like the BNB Smart Chain or Polygon. This will give you a wallet address that you can send all of your funds over. You can now start transferring your funds from your existing Metamask wallet to Ledger. I have some Ethereum on this Metamask account, so I can go to the Send option and paste my Ledger deposit address. I can enter the amount of Ethereum that I want to send over, and this will cost me some gas fees as well. The final step is to confirm this transaction, and this will be sent to the blockchain. Once the transaction has been confirmed, you should be able to see your funds on Ledger Live. You can repeat this same process where you're transferring funds from any other networks as well. If you are concerned that the wallet addresses will change if you are using different networks, here's the wallet address for my Polygon account, and this is exactly the same as my Ethereum account. I can send some Matic over to my Ledger wallet address, and after you confirm the transaction, it should be sent over to the blockchain. On my Ledger Live app, the Matic has been successfully transferred over. It can be quite hard for you to keep track of all the funds you have across different networks. One hack you can use is to go to a portfolio checker like Zerion and connect your Metamask wallet. This will show you all of the assets that you have across the different networks on Metamask. Another thing that you want to take note of is that each transaction will cost some gas fees. If you are transferring your funds from networks like Polygon, the gas fees are usually very cheap at about 1 cent. However, the gas fees on other networks may be more expensive, such as Ethereum, where I needed to pay about $1 for the transaction. When you are transferring your funds over from Metamask to Ledger, you may want to keep some of the native tokens behind to pay for gas fees. For example, BNB is the native token of the BNB Smart Chain, or you need some FTM to pay for gas fees on the Phantom Network. Now that you have your funds on Ledger, they will be extremely secure. If you want to use your funds on decentralized applications, you will need to connect your Ledger wallet to Metamask. That's one method that may compromise the security of your seed phrase. And you can check out my video here where I show you the correct way of connecting Ledger to Metamask.